everybody, Yogi here. I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. I am just driving. I'm on the road, road tripping, looking for some stuff to film today. So I thought I'd bring you along. After all, it is called Road Trips with Yogi. I am in Dodge County, a little more specific, Mayville, Wisconsin. And I mean, I've driven up 67, Highway 67, which is right down that way many a time. And I've always noticed there's a cool looking boathouse and I want to go check it out. But as I found my way to the boathouse, I never thought I would come across this. And I think this is really, really cool. It is... I don't know if it's a little league diamond or a minor league. I don't know. It's really, really old. They got a neat little concession stand here. They've actually got a, I guess a second, or maybe that's where the booths are. Again, I don't know if it's uh, who plays here. I'll have to kind of look it up, but look at that. This stadium has been here I'll call it a stadium. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty good size. This is, God, this has had to have been here for probably a hundred years. I will have to look this up. Very cool, you know. Go up the stairs here, right behind home plate. I love this. This is really neat. And they've got more modern stands back that way over where I parked the Yogi Mobile. West Bend used to have Regner Park. Well, they they still have the baseball diamond, but they tore the old diamond down. The old stands, the, the, the grandstand down. And it's all modern now. And I really haven't checked out a game or anything there, but I liked the old, you know, it's just another one of those things that uh, were good for a long time and did its job the old regner park grandstand but it had to eventually be replaced and someday this will probably be replaced too but it is just really really neat and now that i know that it's here i would love to come here and check out a game i mean i don't know if it's a little league or <laughs> i mean they got the yes the dugouts look you know pretty good Nice solid structure. Now, I gotta think that this is not where the high school plays. I don't, well, maybe they do. I don't know. Kind of wondering what this is during the, this is like a little shelter for people to hang out and eat and watch the game from after they buy their food. That's what that looks like. Let's go check out what else they got going on here at this little park area. So, got this here. Mayville City Park, established 1942. Uh, that's Fireman's Field, where we just were. So this is down here. This is the old Ziegler Park from 1879 to 1920. Mayville's located along the Rock River. Right down over there is like the East Branch, the Rock River, a little pond area, lake area built up. Very nice, I like it. And we're down by the pavilion. I'm assuming there's probably nothing really in it, so we'll take a look in the window here. 
this is the lower floor probably just some hall space for venue venue space Ooh. yeah big hall it's probably upstairs as well a little windy today a little chilly about freezing the rock river has already started to freeze over that's highway 67 right there that white building over there that's a cheese place right there we should probably go check that out to get some cheese and across the street there that's a cemetery that's up that hill up that hillside there over here we got the outdoor stage who wants an ice cold beverage on this ice cold day coming soon metallica to the lions park <laughs> yeah we have a very nice veterans memorial here all gave some some gave all so army marine navy air force coast guard there's one for wings over wisconsin you know i don't want to get too preachy right now or too politicky but we were forced into a lot of conflicts over the years some good some bad and a lot of people went over there signed up knowing that they might not make it back some did not they gave the ultimate sacrifice for this country and i think that's been lost in all the division and politics that have consumed us over the last couple of decades especially the last decade people need to remember that you know as bad as you may think this country is there's people who fought for this country and died for this country because they believed it's one of the best countries if not the best country in the world a lot of people who are negative against our country just kind of remember that that people fought for you to have the right to hate on America or bash America and spew your anti-American beliefs or ways. Again, I'm not trying to draw ire from any of my viewers. I'm just stating how I feel. I am a proud American. Uh, my father served in World War II. Every country has its flaws. We need to remember that people fought and died for you to have the right to say what you say, to feel how you feel, to think what you think. It's kind of under attack. I mean, there's there's uh, people out there that do not want you, if you don't agree with a certain opinion, that you should not be able to have that opinion. In this country, we are not a democracy, like a lot of people have been saying. We are a republic. That gets lost in the weeds. A lot of people say, well, democracy, democracy, okay. But it wasn't originally a democracy. When our founders wrote the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, Benjamin Franklin was uh, leaving one of the sessions and after they had completed it and a, a fellow American walked up to him and said, what were you guys doing in there? What did you create? And I'm, I'm generalizing, it's not exactly the words, but... And uh, Franklin replied, a republic, if you can keep it. Now, America has rights and constitutions that other countries don't. And I think that gets lost as well because I don't think it's being taught just how, how these other countries are not. They don't have what we do. We have the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. A lot of these other countries do not. They have parliaments. They have one-sided government. Our country was designed to have a two-system government. Like it or not, you have two sides. And I think we've been uh, groomed over the years to really take offense at the other side. Um, and that's a shame. I mean, if you have a difference of opinion, fine. Be respectful of my difference of opinion. And 
I'll be respectful of yours, you know. It's it's a weird conversation I'm having here, but it just dawned on me to just talk about that a little bit. Comment below if you want to add anything to it. Just be respectful. That's all I ask. If you're not going to be respectful, I will I will remove the comments. But you do have a right to speak. You do have a right to say what you want to say, regardless which side of the aisle you're on. And uh, that's becoming more and more of a problem. We are now walking across this nice pedestrian bridge that goes over the Rock River. And right over there is downtown Mayville. All right. Well, one thing I wouldn't have guessed Mayville having is this little museum. <laughs> they have a little museum for you to check out. James A. Jim Schinderly, 1927-2009, Mayville Historical Society, our first president, 1968-2001. to I don't know if these are buildings actually from the past or if they're just kind of... I can't see inside there. Sorry. Here, let's open the door here. Oh, they got some neat stuff in there. Uh, yeah, I see a bunch of cigar boxes. <laughs> like a big whole cigar up hanging up there. Oh, there's a bell right there. How, how did I miss that? There is a bell. And I guess this is the old, uh, judging by the pole, the old barber shop. Well, this is locked. Can't get in. Let's take a quick look, see at this other building here. The hook and ladder house number one. Some people don't care for the small towns. I do, I like them. I like them a lot. Let's see if we can, nope, there's no window on that door. We're right on the other side of the Rock River from downtown. Here's the bell. I don't know if you can actually ring it. I'm gonna do it with my foot, see? The Holenstein Wagon and Carriage Factory circa 1876 has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. So this was actually a carriage place. It's got the old, it's got the name on there, John Hollenstein. Right there. Hollenstein with the period. It says here, this Hollenstein Wagon and Carriage Factory. It says, the building occupied by the Mayville Historical Society Museum was built by John J. Hollenstein, senior as his home wagon and carriage factory. Born in St. Gallien, Switzerland in 1842, he married Domica Zoist and emigrated to the United States in 1869. In 1873, they settled in Mayville. In 1876, John Holland St. Sr. purchased a portion of this property built for the front section of the house and shared his wagon and carriage factory named John Hollenstein Manufacturing. In 1888, he began the first of several additions to the factory and the house. He operated the business until 1908. His son, John Jr., bought the business, which he operated until his retirement in 1941. There you go, you got the wagon and carriage factory written right there. Now that place across the street there is called the Audubon Inn. And probably 10 years ago or so, our paranormal investigation group got a call asking to uh, talk to somebody from the Audubon Inn about possible hauntings going on there. Now, uh, we did come out here. We did talk to a gentleman who was kind of the manager on duty that day. He said he was going to try to talk to the owners of the building about uh, us possibly doing an investigation there. He said it was going to be tough, though, because the owners are very, very skeptical. They don't want the stigma of uh, being a haunted location. 
and apparently that fell through because we never heard back from the manager as far as if we could uh, investigate or not we tried to get a hold of him a couple of times after that and we're given you know blown off basically so that does happen though people you know you, you deal with people are people who own businesses who just some people want that stigma and some people don't and it's unfortunate that the Audubon Inn didn't at least contact us and let us know they didn't want us to investigate here but it's a really neat building it's a really cool on the inside I'm not going to go in there because there's no reason to but uh yeah the Audubon Inn in Mayville Mayville might be a pretty haunted place it's an older city older town you know back in the 1880s 1890s right around there so it's probably got a lot of ghosts a lot of a lot of history a lot of neat old buildings but uh i just thought i'd take you around and show you a little bit of uh Mayville today i'd driven through it before in a couple episodes and never really stopped but i thought today i'd stop and check it out a little bit that's gonna do it for this episode of road trips with yogi i hope you enjoyed our little uh, escapade to Mayville if you did please like share this episode with somebody you think might like it as well and subscribe and remember keep, keep checking that notification bell because I see my numbers fluctuating and I think this has happened to me with a, especially one channel that I follow off-ramp adventures great channel featuring Jim and Vanessa they're located I believe out of Louisville Tennessee or that area thereabouts uh, they do a great job of uh, checking out places off off ramp adventures checking out the little you know just checking out things just like yogi here does so i've had issues with having to resubscribe on their channel multiple times i don't know why but that's something that's been happening so make sure you check that subscription uh that notification bell make sure you're uh you're on <laughs> or you're here subscribed so you can actually get episodes um what else we got uh if you want to be featured in an episode of road trips with yogi you want your name to be in the uh the episode consider going to www.patreon.com consider becoming a member www.patreon.com forward slash road trips with yogi and uh, for as little as $5 a month, you can help support my channel and give me the opportunity to do bigger and better travels. And again, you will be featured, your name will be featured in the episode. And there's a couple tiers on there at different levels. So check that out. Other than that, oh, this is kind of a creepy little area. Ooh. Yeah, let's turn this camera around. They're all like creepy. As if there was a fire. There must have, maybe there was a fire or something at some point. It's kind of marshy, but creepy too. Yeah. This would be creepy walking down in the middle of the night. No street lights. Nobody to save you. <laughs> All right, enough of that crap. Anyhow, again, folks, thank you for joining me on these adventures. I appreciate each and every one of you. Tell a friend. Say, hey, there's this channel I watch on YouTube, Road Trips with Yogi. I think he's got some pretty cool uh, content, and I think you might enjoy it. Until next time, folks, I am Yogi. I am in the middle of nowhere, and I am starting to go back towards Mayville, so I gotta turn this car around. Until the next episode, folks, I'm out of here.